Okay, uh, number 11 is the limit at infinite problem, okay? And your limit x goes to infinite or minus infinite case, okay? So for this problem, like in, in, my, in my previous review, and I was, I was mentioned about higher order rule, right? So which means like find the like strongest guy on your numerator and strongest guy of your denominator. The other guys, forget about it. Just like, you know, you can ignore about that, okay? Then we're gonna compare that leading term only, okay? So like, first of all, let's start from number problem C first, okay? Because this is really trivial problem. Look at that. So by higher order, then we don't have to worry about like all the other terms, but just leading term of like numerator and denominator, that's it, okay? Well, some of you already know the answer, right? Look at that. Your denominator is like, you know, faster than numerator, okay? Or your denominator is stronger than your numerator, okay? Don't forget this. Okay, okay? So whenever you have like a stronger one on your denominator, it must be equal to zero, okay? So this one is equal to just automatically zero, okay? What about D? Some of, some of you already know the answer, okay? But in you know, a different way, it doesn't matter, okay? So like some of you know, like, you know, as long as you have like same um, degree top and bottom, then like the leading coefficient is the answer, right? It is true. Or like if you're not sure about it, you can use the like higher order rule as well, okay? Then everything will be really clear, okay? By higher order, we're gonna choose the strongest guy of a numerator and strongest guy denominator, okay? Then, like it says, like this one, like there's no problem to cancel this out, right? So, like since we just cancel out like all the extra, then your answer is this one. That's it, okay? But either way, doesn't matter, okay? You can use higher order, or you, you just you can use the like the leading coefficient, okay? Doesn't matter, okay? Then let me come back to B. Look at that. You have to be careful about this, one, okay? Look at that. Your what is the degree of your numerator? It is two, right? What is the degree of your denominator. Do you think it is four? No, it is fake, okay? It is first degree, okay? Like, cause like pi is number. Pi to the four is just number. It's not the, like, unknown variable, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? So, by high, higher order, and like, you know, the part is gone, okay? So let me show you like with a higher order, okay? Higher order rule, then limit, x goes to minus infinite, nine x squared, and you can ignore, just simply ignore pi to the four. Does it make sense? Then, is there any problem to cancel this, guys? No problem, right? Then you, you can rewrite this one as, like this, okay? Now plug in minus infinite, what happened? It is minus infinite over 10, that is equal to minus infinite, okay? That's it. Okay, number A, and the problem A, I really love like this kind of problem, okay? So because like, you know, it is because of the exponential function, okay? For this kind of problem, you have to remember only two things, okay? e to the infinite is infinite. Then since it is infinite, don't touch it, okay? Then we know about this one, e to the minus infinite equals zero, okay? Whenever you have e to the minus infinite by plugging in x equal to infinite, then you can just simply like assume it is equal to zero, okay? Look at that. First, let's try to figure out which part is this one e to the minus infinite, okay? So look, plug in x equal to uh, infinite, then look at that. I'm talking about this guy, okay? It's equal to e to the minus infinite, then we can simply ignore about that, okay? Let, like without, let, let me rewrite this one without that one, okay? So limit x goes to infinite, three minus five e to the four x over three e to the four x, okay? So whenever you use the higher order because they are um, like infinites, right? It just simply can be simplified like this way. And there is no trouble to cancel these guys, okay? Then your answer is simply negative five over three. Is that easy? Told you, it is easy, okay? So now, now let me move to the next one. Okay, that's it, okay, that's it. 